welcome back everybody we are playing cabela's alaskan adventures we are in south central alaska and i think that we're done with all the bow missions for the most part let's go in the outpost let's check what it is that we still need to do okay so we got this hunt done we got this hunt done okay with a muzzle loader trophy legend grizzly with a muzzle loader i think We've done this one. Yukon Moose with a scope. Okay, I think we can use a scope muzzle loader for that one as well. So we might just use the muzzle loader for most of these hunts. Keen I want from this keen eye one. Male caribou with a handgun in under an hour. Okay, so muzzle loader and handgun. I think I'm just thinking in my in my head what loadout I should bring out. Okay, we already did this one, we already did this one. What's the last one? Male Kodiak by Bear Legend and the Mil Sitka Deer Legend. Muzzle loader for a bear and a bow for the deer. Okay, so we're gonna save this one for last. I guess we're not gonna get rid of the bow just yet, but let's buy a muzzle loader because we don't have one. And I love that it is so cheap. Okay, perfect. Go to our locker. Let us unequip the bow. Let's bring the muzzle loader. Let's leave the compact scope. Three to twelve is actually a really good range. But let's leave the compact scope and let's bring the prototype. And this one is what that one was. It was the last one was three to twelve. 8 to 32. That's a lot of magnification. I think we're actually stick with the the compounds, the, the compact scope. I don't think I need that much magnification. Okay. Okay, yeah, we got everything. We don't have a tent, but we're not going to need a tent. Wait, let's, uh, let's go out. Oh. So let's get, can I get the tags for this one? We already have the tags for that one. And we have the tag for the Grizzly. Okay. I think we are in good shape. Let's go to the range, take out that muzzle loader for a spin. I love muzzleloader hunting. It's probably my favorite deer season. Because the deer are still rutting. Well, I mean, first I have to explain to you guys. Down here in South Florida, our archery season begins in in July. And, uh, and uh, the deer are, in July, they are wrapping up their rut. Um... So our archery season starts in July, ends in August, and then our muzzleloader season is in early September. And in early September, the deer are like in their early post rut, but they uh, they're still very receptive. Our our gun season is like in November, and then by December, our deer have already dropped all their antlers. Down here, I mean, muzzleloader season, I know it's incredibly hot. It's like 100 degrees outside, but one of the most productive seasons, in my opinion. Yeah, that's great. Where are we at? 25. That's, that's perfect. Maybe a little bit higher. Might bring it up to 2. Give me a little bit more margin for error. That's still basically on at 50. All right, what are we at? 25. Okay. Yeah, it's not even noticeable. Where are we at? 150. That's a far shot. It's basically. Muzzleloader hunting, you don't get. Okay, 
What if we go up to like two, three? What does that give us? F50. Let's go up to so that the outside of the circle is touching my reticle. F50. Still a very close shot. Yeah, we're still on there. And at 100, we are. Perfect. Okay. I think I think the muzzle loader is gonna be nice. Wow, those are look at the, look at how the way that, that scope is mounted. That thing looks ridiculous. Anyway, got the pistol. Got the muzzle loader. I love how still the ammo even works for the muzzle loader. So is it really a muzzle loader? Oh, that's okay. At this point, they should have just given you infinite ammo like all the other big game hunter games. Okay, let's go get this Grizz. Say anything about? Oh, oh! Ow, that hurt. Bring it down this time. Oh, he didn't die. I can't even move. <laughs> you can't hunt that animal. It's just not right. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought he was attacking me. Okay, that's just your first warning. Well, that'll cost you two hundred. That wasn't the right animal, so. Shot him around the butt. Hmm. A little weak on the muzzle loader. I shot that bear straight in the face and he didn't die. Not completely happy with that performance. I also got smacked in the face for it. Not completely happy with that either. In fact, let's. Let's, uh, while we're swimming, let's, uh, let's use a med kit while we're swimming, you know, it's just, it's what we do. What? Did I even use it? There we go. Can't use it while you swim. I have learned. Okay, so the Grizzly that attacked this was not the Trophy Legends, unfortunately. I'm kind of surprised that he took two two shots and still was able to run off. Muzzle muzzle loaders are one of the more effective weapons I have found in the big game. You just have to make sure that that first shot connects good. Uh, he's gonna get it. He's gonna shoot around the head. It's a hit, but not enough. That's the right bear, at least. Oh, completely missed. Can't even move while you reload, man. What a joke. There we go. Not the best shot placement on that second. That is not how you reload a muzzle loader, by the way. It's 
It's called a muzzle loader for a reason. You have to load it through the muzzle. Show him running ass. But that first hit was right on the head. That should have been slam dunk. Thirteen ninety four pounds. That's a big bear. It makes me proud to see you on the high scores list. I was getting attacked there for a second. Uh, okay, well, got the Grizz. So I guess we're done with Cordova. Let's go to instead of going to Kenai, let's actually do some some fishing. Two sockeye salmon. Salmon. I'm sorry, I'm from Miami. Down here we say salmon. But okay, yeah. Salmon. I get it. Rubber shrimp. Okay, where are the sake? Red. It's a far run. Also, that backpack cannot be comfortable sitting down on that chair. Actually, now we're talking about this. Let us Let's run up the river. <laughs> oh, you can't. This is not the same place. No, this is not the same place that we were at. I thought it was the same place in, in Kodiak. But it's not. Yeah, we're a farm ants. Big water ocean out here. I'd love to go to Alaska and do like a, you know, basically what I'm doing now, uh, like a cast and blast. Do some big game hunting, do some fishing. I don't know about salmon though, maybe some halibut. Supposedly, this is uh, the place to be. I'm not seeing any ripples. I love how you can see down into the water through the window. See, that's all kelp. You do see some ripples back there.
Where are my ripples at? There's no ripples. Uh, what will he say if I just fish? Maybe this spot isn't the best. You should move. Hold on. Let's see what's out here. Yeah, look how fast that reels in. Okay, I'll move. There's a ripple right there. This area looks good. Let's hope it's good. I feel good about this area for fish. This area better be good. I'm paying you thousands of dollars in outfitting fees. shame. Come on. I threw that right on the front of your face. I am using the right. Yeah. right in front of me. He's just, he's teasing me. I'm not a fan of this fog. This fog is no good. Oh, I see a fish. What is going on here? What is that? Oh, that's like kelp. What do you think? This spot doesn't seem right. That's like just straight kelp coming out of the water. That's hilarious. Maybe this spot isn't the best. You should move. There's a little ripple here. I'm afraid this spot might be fished out. Shh, be quiet. There he is. I love how it's foggy underwater as well. <laughs> Sockeye. I think sockeye are my favorite species of salmon. Bite that shrimp. That no! Almost. No, he didn't hook up. Ruining me. I hate those corner hooks, hook sets. <laughs> so annoying. Wow, they're just not biting. Those corner hook sets are just unfair. <laughs> wow, they're just not biting. Damn fish. They're just right in front of me. They just don't want to bite. <laughs> 
There might be a different species. Can't seem to catch any luck. These guys aren't interested. out there ow okay okay fine I don't know if they just made the map too big or or what, it's just not a lot of fish. This fog is not helping me at all. Oh, I actually went super far. I'm afraid this spot might be fished out. Let's find out.
Maybe this spot isn't the best. You should move. It doesn't help also that I'm getting like some, some crazy artifacting, like straight white lines. I don't know what's up with that. spot doesn't seem right. There's no bubbles. <laughs> some fishing. Are you up for it? Be quiet. I bet there's some fish Ooh, over there. Ooh, look at that. Please don't give me a corner shot. I would not appreciate if you gave me a corner shot. There we go. Good job bringing it in. Look at the tiny, look at that tiny little salmon. Six pounds. Way to go. Way to get a high score. What a joke. 
right in front of like the dock. <laughs> and I've been running around the whole ocean. There's one right here. Quite a few here last week. Give me another one. Wow. I bet there's some fish over there. I've been running around this whole map and they were right here in front of the duck. What a joke. Got him. Now that's a fish. That's a tiny little fish. Six pounds under the one. Well, we did it. What a high score. Congratulations. Suppose. Sixteen credits for those two fish. <laughs> okay. At least we finished the challenge. I mean. I'm gonna wrap up the episode right here. Thank you guys for watching. I am going to see you on the next episode. Um, we might do some more fishing. We might not. I don't know. But uh, thank you guys again for watching. See you. Bye.